Hi guys, welcome to the Wealth Startup Channel. We are a video book channel showing the topics about make money online with internet marketing. Please click the subscribe button to empower us to continue making more video books. Today's video book continues with the topic, Email Marketing for Beginners, the best email marketing course. In this video, we are going to talk about Lesson 1, Identifying the Target Audience for Your Marketing Campaign. If you missed the last video, please click the link in the description to watch it later on, so that you'll have a full picture of understanding. If you also want to have the text version of this video book, you can refer to the download instructions that's stated in the description. Okay, let's get started. Lesson 1. Identifying the Target Audience for your marketing campaign You will fail at email marketing if you have a hazy understanding of who your target audience is. You truly are. If you're chasing after a hazily defined market, you might as well quit now. Identification of target audiences is critical for specialty list marketing. You can't just go after everyone. You must concentrate your focus on certain community of people who are attempting to address a very small set of challenges. This is how you describe the requirements. You would be able to convert a large number of these folks from website visitors to list members to product customers by directly addressing their requirements, completing enough consumer research, and speaking their language. It is critical that you convert raw traffic into cash in your bank account. Otherwise, you're squandering your time. All the traffic in the world will not contribute a dime to your bank account until you target a certain niche market and provide its audience with the answers they need. Identifying the right audience So, how do you decide which audience to target? There are a variety of audiences out there. They're all centered on a certain set of requirements or challenges. It all comes down to the business worth of those requirements. There are numerous issues that consumers are unwilling to spend high cash to fix. People are seeking for the best DVD set of headphones, but everyone's budget is limited. Priorities fluctuate depending on the problem. You must identify a market segment with sufficient commercial value. One method is to utilize Google AdWords Keyword Planner and do cost per click research on terms relevant to your niche. If you see that marketers are prepared to spend a high price per click on certain terms, you're in luck. There's a good chance there's enough commercial demand for that niche. People are prepared to pay a high price to address problems linked to your niche. It is also critical to ensure that you're targeting a large enough niche. Sure, there are a lot of marketers that are prepared to spend a lot of money for structured settlement keyword traffic. We're talking about a cost of more than $20 per click. Issue is that the number of searches for that specialty is extremely low. Check Google Keyword Planner to see if the niche you're targeting has adequate demand. This tool not only informs you how much advertisers are prepared to spend per click, but it also estimates the amount of searches for keywords in that category. You're searching for a good mix of good commercial value and good traffic volume. Finally, you should consider the degree of competition. If you choose a niche that's exceedingly competitive, with massive companies monopolizing almost all of the search volume for terms relevant to that niche, you will almost likely struggle to make inroads. Look for a niche that is slightly competitive but not so competitive that there is no room for newcomers. How do you do competitive analysis? It's quite simple. Simply collect all of the Google Keyword Planner tool keywords for the genres that interest you. Enter them one at a time into Google's search box to discover how many pages compete for those keywords. This should give you a good indication of how competitive various areas are. At the end of this procedure, you should have a short list of niches with good commercial appeal and enough monthly search volume. Consider the following three factors. Find your customers on the internet. Now I've got some exciting news for you. Regardless of the niche you choose, chances are your consumers are already online. All you have to do is find them. This does not imply that a specialized website exists that caters solely to your particular demographic. Instead, your niche audience members might just be inquiring about your specialty. Perhaps they're posting infographics, photographs, and videos connected to your industry. Whatever the situation may be, people are already trading stuff online. Your duty is to look up all of these topics online and listen to them. 
This is the essential thing you must accomplish to consumer intelligence. Take note of the terms they're using. Pay attention to the solutions that people are currently discussing. Recognize the flaws in the solutions that people are already aware of. If you spend enough time on online platforms such as forums, message boards, Facebook groups, Facebook pages, Twitter accounts, Reddit, subreddits, and Quora, or other question and answer platforms, you should have a good idea of who your audience members are and what they expect. You should also have a good understanding of who your competition are. I have some awful news for you. You most likely already have rivals in your niche. This is not a gloomy piece of news. Instead, you may take use of this. Locate the rivals who are vying for your target audience. Make a lengthy list of them. Keep an eye out for both direct and indirect competition. Reverse engineer your competitors. Once you know who your rivals are, reverse engineer what they're doing. How do they speak to the needs of the individuals you're attempting to reach? How do their websites look? What are their social media profiles like? What type of material do they utilize for marketing? How are their pages laid out? As you invest one rival after another, you must keep these and other relevant questions in mind. After you've spent some time asking these questions and thoroughly researching your competition, you should have a good sense of what your niche's industry standard is. You'd quickly discover that your niche competitors all look the same. They frequently address the same issues. They frequently provide the same remedies. Their social media profiles are frequently mistaken for one another. Keep this in mind. Examine these parallels and realize that this is the industry standard in your field. Whatever website, social media account, or mailing list you create must adhere to industry standards. Please keep in mind that determining the industry standard in your specialty is only a starting point. You should not begin and end here. Instead of stumbling around for the perfect squeeze page or mailing list marketing materials for your niche, it simply provides you a head start. It provides a starting point. What should you look for in an industry standard item? Take note of your competitor's squeeze page design. This is the sign up page that your rivals use to acquire people from their target audience to join their mailing list. Take note of how these pages are laid up. What kinds of images do they employ? What type of text are they presenting? What format do they use for their texts? Do they tell you any stories or videos shown? Pay close attention to the arrangement of their sales funnel. Your rivals have a common method for getting individuals to sign up for their mailing list and then selling those list members a variety of items and services. Take note of how they do this. What steps do they take to guide prospects through the sales process? Recognize that their ultimate purpose is to persuade list members to buy something. Determine how their sales funnel is structured and how it attempts to convert list members. Take note of the kind of freebies or incentives that your rivals offer in order to encourage individuals to sign up for their mailing list. Do they make use of cheat sheets or brief reports? Do they give free complete books? Do they entice list members with a particular video? Do they promise insider knowledge that consumers must join up for in order to access? Be aware of the precise industry standard digital incentive offered by your rivals. You'll have to provide the same. You can change this later, but you must start with this form of incentive. As a result, pay attention to the updates they give. Do they discuss current events and news? Do they intend to educate email users with a variety of solutions? Finally, pay attention to the items they promote in their emails. You can bet that your rivals are sending out emails with the intention of making money. If you click on the appropriate link, you will be sent to a product that they hope you will purchase. The same is true for services. Take note of these. Determine the most prevalent goods that they include in their upgrades. Once again, this serves as the industry standard in your sector. Look for the industry standard, since this is where you'll begin. This does not imply that you must begin and conclude your email list marketing efforts with the industry standard. Instead, it just provides you a huge head start because you aren't bumbling about trying to come up with your own squeeze page and mailing list plan, which may fail. Instead, by following the tried and true industry standard, you may improve on existing mailing list standards. You just need to improve on what your rivals are currently doing. And that's the end of this video. If you also want to have the text version of this video book, you can refer to the download instructions that's stated in the description. The next upcoming video we'll be talking about, Lesson 2, Choosing the Perfect Email Marketing Platform. 
see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.